welcome to another video of tally tutorials this video explains how we can create ledger and assign this ledger into predefined groups in tally in this video i am going to explain the transactions that we have discussed in the previous video so the same question i have already given the link of that transactions in the description section below so download it let's begin open tally software the first step is open the company that we have already created so gate of tally info select select company menu this is a company that we are created my company limited the company is open now so we are going to create now we are going to create the ledgers so for that we need to select it now select ledgers now here you can see ledger creation menu two sections single ledger and multiple ledgers we can use both if you want create a single ledger at a time we can select create menu under single ledger if you want to create multiple ledgers at a time we can select create under multiple ledgers so here i am going to demonstrate first how we can create a single ledger then thereafter we can move to how to create multiple ledgers so select create ledger this is a window that we are going to use to create ledgers before that here is the groups and ledgers that we are divided in the last video so the first ledger is capital account and its group belongs to capital so here you can see the name of the ledger here you need to type capital account alias leave it is a short name for identification so under which group here you can see a list of predefined groups we can select the capital account from here so capital account under capital tally demanding inventory values are affected capital account there is no relation to inventory so no enter the mailing address because capital is contributed by the owner you can give the mailing address here if you want we can give the name address country state province like this if you want to assign the tax details you can give it here so opening balance there is no opening balance because we are going to give the amount through transactions if you handling trial balance you can assign the opening balance here but here we are handling the transaction then ledger then general entry okay so leave opening balance blank press enter key then tally demanding accept yes or no here i am going to give y for accepting it now we are already created a ledger named capital under a capital group the next ledger is city bank account type the name city bank account then under the first item that is under bank account now tally demanding some more information account holder's name account number bank name we have already given city bank name as the name of the ledger so not applicable we can give the branch name if you want these informations are very important in a practical side so you can give this or you can avoid this no problem so set check books yes or no so you can give the name address etc so that is not relevant here so opening balance set it to blank accept yes so we are created city bank account under bank account group so this way you can create a single ledger using create ledger under single group now we are going to learn how to create multiple ledgers 
this is the easiest way to create ledgers because we can create more than one ledgers in a single window okay so press escape then we move to the ledger menu here you need to select create ledger under multiple ledgers this is a menu that we need to invoke for create multiple ledgers so select the create under multiple ledgers this is a window that we are going to create multiple ledgers one thing is very important the first item under group so here we are going to create ledgers under multiple groups so keep it in mind select the all item don't select bank account if you are select bank account you can only create ledgers under bank account if you are select cash in hand you can only create ledgers under cash in hand so here we need to create multiple ledgers in different groups so select all item now here name of ledger here is the groups and ledgers in our example we have already created two ledgers under single option now the third ledger is furniture account press enter key automatically tally shifted to the list of groups you can see select the correct group that is fixed asset just press the first letter of the group automatically tally filter it with the first letter so press f look fixed asset opening balance is blank then tally demanding second that is purchase purchase account under purchase purchase account very easy opening balance is null the third is stationery under indirect expense we can just type the word here automatically tally filter your words and tally search the group indirect expense so the fourth one is sales sales account under sales account fifth one is carriage under direct expense like this we can create all the ledgers one by one after entering all the ledgers you press enter key then you can see a blank ledger name again press enter tally asked to accept the modifications just press yes now tally move to ledgers now we are created already created more than five ledgers now if you want to see the ledger that you are already created you just display single or display multiple so here i am going to take display multiple select all items then you can see the ledgers okay select all item so capital under capital carriage cash you see cash account is a predefined ledger tally already created it is an inbuilt ledger there is no need of creating cash ledger further city bank account furniture profit and loss account is a nominal account with its primary group tally already created it's an inbuilt ledger account purchase sales stationery this way you can display the ledgers that you are already created so this way you can display all the ledgers that you are created so press escape this way you can take display sometimes we need to modify or alter the details of a ledger either the name of the ledger or we assign the ledger wrongly to other groups so different situations we want to alter the ledger for that purpose we can use the alter menu under single or multiple here i am selecting single alter option select the alter menu under ledger select it then you can select the ledger you want to modify so you here i am going to select stationary account now here the same window is opened that we are used to create ledger so stationary account here i am going to assign it to indirect income now the stationery is assigned to indirect income now the stationery is wrongly assigned to some other groups we need to just display it take it display then all items you see stationery is under indirect income so we want to modify it again so move to ledger menu so select 
alter under single you can select multiple no problem select alter select the stationary here i am going to change indirect expense select the indirect expense from here then leave remaining field as it is select yes now the stationary ledger is modified so this way we can modify or alter the ledger details so we have already learned two operations create ledger and alter ledger now third one is how we can delete a ledger from our account in tally there is no separate menu for deletion of ledgers instead tally put forward some procedure for deleting a ledger for that purpose if you want to delete a ledger first of all you need to open the ledger under alter mode so select the alter then here i am going to delete the stationary account so select stationary now the stationary account is opened under alter mode the next step is that you need to press alt d alt then d you see after pressing the alt d tally demanding a replay whether you want to delete yes or no if i press yes you see now you can't see a ledger here named stationary that ledger is permanently deleted so if you want to delete a ledger just select the ledger under alter mode so move to alter menu then press enter select the ledger you want to delete then press alt d then tally automatically delete that ledger from our company account but one thing we need to aware about that you can't delete a ledger with hold a transaction if you are already post some transaction to the ledger then tally never allowed to delete a ledger so we can only delete an empty ledger you cannot delete a ledger which holds some transactions so if you want to delete a ledger that holds some transactions first of all you need to delete the transaction and make the ledger empty then only you can delete that ledger so keep in mind you can only delete an empty ledger if you want to delete a ledger with the, with the transactions or the ledger holds some transactions first of all you want to delete all the transactions within that ledger then delete the ledger so this way you can create ledger you can display ledgers that we have already created and you can delete a ledger so these are the three tally ledger operations creation alter and deletion so that's all about ledger creation and assigning ledgers and tally ledger operations so in the next video we are going to pass journal entry and posting that journal entry into ledgers so see you on next video thank you